So, ang next topic natin ay electrostatic. Kapla ng electrostatic. So, part 2. So, next problem natin. So, let's say meron tayong uh, capacitor. A charge of uh, 0.23 watt per second. Of energy. So, meron tayong energy. So, ito ay electrical uh, electrical energy. Uh, point uh, 0.23 uh, watts per second. And meron tayong uh, voltage na uh, 48 volts. So, what is the capacitance? So, ang energy stored sa, ano, sa capacitor, sa W uh, is equal to 1 half uh, C A squared. So, ito ay uh, volts. Then, ito ay energy. So, energy natin is uh, 0.23. 0.23. Uh, is equal to 1 half is 0.5. Then, yung volts is uh, 48 volts times times uh, capacitance. So, equate natin in terms of, ano, in terms of C. Uh, C is equal to 0.23 over 0.5 times uh, 48 volts. So, capacitance is equal to uh, 0.23 uh, over 0.5 times uh, 48 uh, squared. So equal So pindutin natin itong ENG So 200 So ang unit ito is Ang lalabas dito is uh, Farad So ang unit ng M is a unit ng capacitance is F Pero dito sa problem is naka U So micro microfarad. So, U is times 10 raised to negative 6. Ayan. So, 200. So, answer dito is letter C. So, next problem, uh, a 20 UF capacitor. So, meron tayong capacitance na 20 times 10, uh, raised to negative 6 farad, uh, is charged by a 12-volt battery. So, uh, E is equal to 12-volt. Then, ang pinapanak is yung energy stored. Ang diagram niyan is ganito. So, yan ito ay uh, 12 volt. Then, ito ay uh, 20 na uh, UF. So, ganyan yung uh, schematic diagram ng capacitor. Ang pinapahanap is yung energy stored. So, dapat kabisado yung formula ng energy stored sa capacitor. Uh, w is equal to 1 half. Uh, C, E, 
squared. So, dapat yung uh, capacitance, ito dapat naka-standard unit na F. Then, yung volt is naka-volt pa rin. So, yan yung standard uh, SI unit. SI unit na capacitance sa voltage. So, energy is equal to 0.5. So, 20 UF. So, 20 times 10 raised to negative 6. Para. Then, ang volts is uh, 12 volt. That's uh, good. So, 1.44, uh, 1.44 times, one point forty four times 10 raised to negative 3 uh, joules. So, ang answer dito is letter D. So next problem, so a parallel plate capacitor uh, with air. So um, ang absolute uh, permittivity ng air is uh, so ito yan, so absolute permittivity, uh, permittivity is 1.25. times 10 raised to negative 6. So, ang relative permittivity ng air, so, 1. So, a parallel plate capacitor with air between its plate uh, is charged until the potential difference uh, V appears on it. So, another capacitor, uh, another capacitor having a hard rubber, so dielectric material. So, UR, so di dielectric material, uh, ng copper, ay, ng rubber is uh, 3. Between the plates, between its plates, but otherwise identical. So, it also charged to the same uh, potential difference. If the energy stored on the first capacitor is W, so W1, so uh, equals W. So, energy, energy stored uh, sa, sa capacitor is uh, W, doon sa 1. What is the second? The second is, so W2 uh, is unknown. So, so, ito ay yung para sa carbon. So, kung yung drawing natin yan, meron tayo uh, ganyan, the circuit. So, ang potential difference is V. Uh, then, So, ngayon, so ito ay uh, C1. So, capacitance ng uh, unang capacitor. So, dito yung sa para sa condition 1. So, sa condition 2, same, same yung ano, supply, B pa rin, then yung capacitor 
uh, same ano same size yung parallel plate capacitor so nakaiba lang ng material sa loob so yung dielectric uh, material dito UR is 3 so lagyan natin ng 2 So ngayon, dapat kabisa din yung uh, energy stored sa kapasitor. So ano yung energy stored sa kapasitor? Uh, w is equal to 1 half CA squared. So same supply. So equate natin in terms of 1 half CA squared. So WC uh, is equal to 1 half A squared. So equate natin ito kasi ito ay constant. So, remember dun sa problem, uh, yung E, yung E2 is equal to E1. So, same yung supply doon sa both conditions. So, K2 uh, is equal to K1. So, kaya natin emigrate by uh, 1 half E squared. So, ngayon, uh, K2 is equal to K1. So, therefore, uh, ito ay magiging K na to. So, K2 is equal to K1. So, magiging uh, W2 over C2 uh, is equal to uh, W1C1. So, W2. So, ang C2, so ano bang formula ng parallel plate capacitor? So, C is equal to uh, UO So, formula ng parallel plate capacitor is absolute uh, permittivity times ER area over D. So, EO times uh, ER2 times area over D. Then, yung W1 is equal to W, then yung capacitance 1 is capacitance ng material 1 is EO times ER1 times area over D. So, yung ER1 is air. Sabi doon sa, ano, sa problem, uh, air daw yung material. So, ito ay 1. Then, yung EO, so same. So, yung ER2 is equal to 3. So, yung area and distance is the same. So, magiging W over 3 uh, is equal to uh, W2 over 3 is equal to uh, W over 1. So, therefore, W2 uh, is equal to 3W. So, ang answer dito is letter D. So, sabi kasi dito, uh, another capacitor uh, having a uh, hard rubber dielectric constant 3. So, uh, ER2 uh, is equal to 3 between uh, it, it between its plates but otherwise identical so ang area yung area and distance between the plate ng kapasitor is constant so also charge to the same uh, potential difference so same yung supply same yung area same yung distance so nagkaiba lang sa material na dynamic So next, uh, the result of the capacitance C, C1 is equal to uh, 6 microfarad and C2 in series uh, is 3. So C total is 3. The capacitor C2 in microfarad is, so for, ano, for series capacitor, So, 
for series capacitor in analyze siya so para na no para para na parang parallel yan uh, parallel resistance so parang parallel resistance so c total uh, c total is equal to c1 raised to negative 1 plus c2 raised to negative 1 uh, raised to negative 1 so ito ay parang formula ng parallel resistances so, magkabalik tayo. So, CT is, CT is 3 total. Then, C1 is 6. 6 raised to negative 1. So, ang C2 is yung pinakahanap. Uh, raised, raised to negative 1. Uh, raised to negative 1. A equal to uh, 6 negative 1 plus x. Uh, so, yung C to gawin natin x. Uh, then, raise to negative 1. Uh, raise to negative 1. So, shift so So, C2 uh, is equal to 6 UF. So, a condenser of a 1 microfarad capacitance is charged to a 100 volt. Uh, and then disconnected uh, from the power supply. Uh, Tinerge the cost to a uh, 100 volt. Then the capacitance to is a uh, 1 UF. Uh, then uh, the disconnect from the power supply. A second uh, but uncharged capacitor of 3 microfarad uh, is then connected across the first capacitor. So the voltage across the parallel combination uh, is so for series and parallel capacitor. So ang pagsobyan is inusahan sa uh, Q total is equal to uh, C total uh, times uh, E total. So, ang um, uh, Q total So, Q total uh, is equals to uh, 1 microfarad Then, um, volts natin is uh, 100 volts. So, Q total uh, is equal to uh, 100. Uh, micro column. So, ito ay para sa first condition. First condition. So, una is, uh, wala pa ito. Uh, wala pa itong pangalawang capacitor na yan. So, therefore, uh, we can say that uh, QT uh, is equals to C. So, CT equals to C1 na yan. Kasi uh, sa first condition, wala pa yung uh, C2. So, ang Q total dito is 
Your total uh, is equals to 100 micro column. So dito, meron din siyang Q. So charge uh, Q1 and Q2. So ngayon, uh, pakatapos na ma-charge nitong capacitor na to, so nag-connect again na uh, another capacitor. So, umpisa naman uli natin sa pag-compute uh, ng for series parallel capacitor. So, inumpisa niyan dito sa a total is equals to uh, a Q total is equals to uh, C total times A total. So, ang Q is yung charge. So, ang ano yun is Q is charge. So, ang Q total is nakawal na natin dito. So, 100. Uh, micro column. So, C total. So, parallel. So, opposite naman. So, pag parallel, ang analyze niyan, pag capacitor yung pag ang pinag-uusapan. So, i-add mo lang. So, parallel capacitor, ina-analyze siya na parang series uh, resistor. So, therefore, uh, 1 UF uh, plus uh, 3 UF. Then, times sa E total. So, E total uh, is equals to 100 uh, microcolumn over by 4 microfarad. So, E total uh, is equal to 25 volts. So, ang answer dito letter C. So, next problem. So, three capacitor A, B, and C. So, A, B, and C. Uh, as follows. So, 10 UF and uh, 100 volt. Then, 15 UF and uh, 150 volt and uh, 95 UF and 200 volt. So what is the voltage across the combination? Ang pinapanak is uh, E total. So, for series parallel uh, capacitor, so inumpisa niyan, so take note, U total is equals to uh, C total times E total. So, where Q is the charge on the capacitor, C is capacitance and E is voltage. So, meron dito uh, Q total flowings. Q total. Uh, and dito merong uh, QA. Uh, QB and QC. So, from the formula, Q uh, is equals to CE. So, makukuha natin yung charge between the between sa mga kapasitor. So, makukuha natin itong QA, QB, and QC. Given na kasi yung voltage and ano, given na yung voltage and yung uh, kapasitans ng mga 
individual capacitor. So, um, QT uh, is equal to uh, Q1 plus Q2 plus Q3 or QA, QB, uh, QC. So, QT, so magi siya. So, from Q is equals to CE. So, makuha natin yung QE. So, magiging siyang um, C A times E A uh, plus uh, C B plus E B plus C C over E C uh, is equals to uh, C total times A uh, total. So, i-plugging in natin yung mga ano, mga given. So, sa parallel circuits, di ba? Sa parallel circuits, yung I, uh, ina-add yung mga uh, current across the branches. Ganun din sa sa charge. So, same lang yung pag-analyze nila. So, nagkaiba lang yung sa total uh, kapasitan. So, ina-analyze siya as series. While yung current, same pa rin as parallel. So, magiging siyang uh, 10 times uh, 100 uh, plus uh, 15 times 150 plus uh, 25 times 200 is equals to C total times A total. So by adding by adding to yung uh, left side, so maybe siyang 8250 micro uh, column uh, is equals to C total times E total. So, ano yung total capacitance ng parallel capacitor? So, ina-analyze siya na parang series. Series is store. So, 8 to uh, 8250 micro column uh, is equals to So, i-plus natin yung mga capacitor. So, 10 10 UF uh, plus 15 UF plus uh, 25 UF so times uh, A total. So therefore, uh, so magiging na siyang ganito. So 8250 micro column is equals to uh, Fifty UF times E total. So E total is equals to one six five volts. So our answer dito is that that T. So next, uh, a coaxial cable has a 10 mm dia di diameter inside conductor. So ito ay uh, 10 mm. Then, 
and a metallic sheet uh, with with an inside diameter of 10 mm so with an inside diameter of uh, 20 If the insulating medium has a dielectric constant, uh, K is equal to 2. So, ER uh, is equal to 2. Uh, then, the permittivity, uh, EO is equal to 1.1, 1, times 10, raised to negative 3. So what is the capacitance uh, of, between the conductor and the shield per uh, kilometer. So, itong problem na to is masolve mo lang siya kung alam mo yung uh, kabisado mo yung formula ng capacitance ng uh, coaxial cable. So, given by uh, 2 pi times EO times ER ln of R2 over R1. So, where R1 R1 is the inside diameter of conductor uh, inner radius uh, inner radius of the conductor which is uh, 10 over 2 so nagkaroon ng over 2 kasi diameter yung given and then yung R2 is the radius of the uh, metallic sheet cable so given yung Diameter kaya naging divided by 2. So, mm. So, yung EO nasa constant number, shape constant number 32. Shape constant 32 times ER is 1. ER is 1. dielectric constant is 2 uh, over ln ln ng 10 over 5 So, uh, equal natin sa so 1.605 uh, 1.605 times 10 raised to negative uh, 10 uh, Capacitance is a farad so over per meter
So, pag, pagbabasa natin yung option, so dito is naka. microfarad per kilometer. So, uh, one kilometer is equal to 1,000 meter. So, dapat sa taas yung 1,000 meter. So, para makancel yung meter, so, wag yung matitira is kilometer, uh, then 1 farad, 1 farad is equals to 1 times 10 uh, raised to negative 6. Uh, farad. So, input natin itong uh, 1.1.605 uh, times 10 raised to negative 10 times times natin by uh, 1,000. So, para per kilometer na yan, uh, So, ilipat natin dito kasi uh, ang, ang microfarad is times 10 raised to negative 6. So, magigayang uh, C is equals to point, uh, 1605 times 10 um, raised to negative uh, 6 microfarad per uh, kilometer. Galingan natin ito uh, times 10 based negative space. So, C uh, is equal to 0 0.1605 UF per kilometer. So, ang answer dito is letter uh, A. So ito, tignob lang natin dito. Para maging times 10 raised to negative 6. So alleged cable for underground service uh, conductor. So, has a diameter of 0.35 inch. So, copper. So, dito yung copper niya. So, uh, surrounded by a uh, 0.20 inch uh, wall of rubber. Uh, insulation. Assuming the dielectric constant of rubber is a uh, 4.3. Uh, calculate the capacitance of the cable per mile length. So, itong problem na ito, so, masasal mo lang siya kapag uh, alam mo yung capacitance ng uh, cable. So, C. So, kaya ng previous problem, so, 2 pi uh, EO times ER over LN ng R2 over R1. 
So, AO, nasa calculator yan. And then, um, ER is 4.3. So, ano yung R2? R1 is, eto, 0.35 divided by 2. Kasi ito ay diameter. Then, ang D2, uh, ang R1, so, kailangan muna natin mahanap yung uh, So, mula dito sa video So, R2 So, mula dito sa figure uh, Ito ay uh, point 0.20 uh, Plus yung uh, R1 so, pag inad mo yung R1 sa itong 0.20, yan ay yung R2 sa base dito sa figure. So, R2 R2 is equal to R1 plus thickness. So, R2 is equal to ito, R1 plus thickness so 0.175 plus 0.2. So, R2 is equal to 0.375 inches. So, ang uh, ER, so ER is a uh, 4.3 uh, divided by LM na R2 0.375 over 0.175. So, 3.49 times 10 uh, raised to negative 10. Store natin, natin sa A. So, alpha A. And times natin by uh, 1 times 10 raised to negative 6. So, micro para dyan, 1 times 10 raised to negative 6 divided by uh, 1 farad para makasig yung farad. And then, yung meter, convert natin to miles. So, So, 1, one over uh, 3.281 times uh, 5 to 80 over 1 mile. So, 5 point Uh, 6 to 3 times 10 raised to negative uh, 13. So, ito pala is uh, tama to. 1 times 10 raised to uh, negative 6 to. Uh, 1 times 10 raised to 6. Uh, 
Uh, so next club lang sa Trono Pastor are connected in series what is the maximum voltage uh, can be supplied to the combination. If the voltage drop across any three capacitor uh, should not exceed uh, 100 volts. So for uh, series, series parallel capacitor, kisa natin dyan by uh, U total is equals to uh, C total times A total. So for series, uh, Q total is equals to C total para sa series ay in-analyze siya as parallel uh, parallel resistance so 16 raised to negative 1 plus uh, 15 raised to negative 1 uh, plus 12 uh, raised to negative 1 uh, raised to negative 1 so times A total So, ito na yan. So, ito na yung, ito na yan. So, for series, uh, series, uh, series capacitor, So, for series circuit, so yung QT uh, is equal to Q1, Q2, and uh, Q3. So, same as sa resistor, di ba? Yung current loan is same. So, series resistor, yung current loan is same. So, magkakaiba lang sa sa ano, sa capacitance. So, ina-analyze siya as parallel. But yung ano, charge and current as ay same pa rin as series. So, take note, paano pa natin ma-achieve tong uh, maximum voltage. So, dito ay uh, 100 volts. 100 volts. Uh, voltage drop across uh, any capacitor is 100 volts. So, kailan natin makukuha yung uh, matching yung maximum. So, from uh, Q is equals to CE. Uh, so, ang voltage drop across the capacitor E is equals to Q over C. So, meron tayo mga values of C, three values of C. So, 16, 15, and 12. So, ang gagamitin natin dito is yung sa 12. So, bakit yung 12? Kasi, uh, ma-achieve natin, sabi dito, uh, E is equal to uh, Q over C. Or, pwede natin siyang basahin as E is inversely proportional uh, to Q over C. So, inverse inverse. So, ibig sabihin, pag bumaba yung C, pag bumaba yung C, tataas yung pag bumaba yung C, tataas yung E. Kasi nga, inverse yung relationship nila. So, sa algebra, di ba? So, ngayon, ano yung uh, mababang value? So, ang mababang value is uh, itong 12. So, matchup natin yung maximum uh, voltage. So therefore, uh, e to Q total is equals to C total times E total. So meron na tayong 
uh, QT. So, yung QT, gagamitin natin yung 12. So, uh, therefore, uh, ito na yung QT. So, ang gagamitin natin is yung as C sa 12. So, ano ba yung 12? So, yung ikatlo. So, C3. So, ito ay C3. C3 times E3. So, So, QT is C3 times E3. So, CT is uh, 4.705 UF times E total. So, E total uh, is equals to 155.04 volts. So, our answer is that uh, So remember, yung QT is uh, QT is equal to Q1, Q2, and Q3. That's a series. So, pwede natin siya makuha by uh, Q is equal to uh, CE. So, we're Q. So, pwede siya. Where Q is equal to C, so therefore, uh, pwede siya. C1, E1, or E2. C2 or C3 C3 E3 So use tong C3 kasi ito yung um, minimum Minimum mag-arrive siya as uh, maximum voltage kasi dito sa relationship niya dito kasi naka-inverse uh, Next problem so three capacitor um, 20 UF, uh, 20, 10, and 15 UF are connected in series across a 100 volt supply. So, find uh, the voltage across 10 UF capacitor. So, meron tayong tatlong capacitor in series. So, 100 volt. Twenty, ten, and 15. Uh, UF. So, find the voltage across uh, 10 UF. So, meron tayong a series uh, capacitor. So, for series and parallel capacitor, so you know, sign and by uh, Q total is equals to C total times uh, E total. So, Q total Q total is equals to so C total. So, for uh, series Capacitor in analysis as uh, para parang parallel resistance. So therefore, 
20 plus 10 plus 15 uh, is negative 1. So our P total is uh, 100 meters. So equal yan sa uh, 461.5 micro uh, column. So yan ay yung uh, P total. So for ano series capacitor, uh, since series yan, yung charge across each capacitor is constant. So P total is equals to Q1, Q2, and Q3. So, meron na tayo Q2. So, yung voltage across 10 UF. So, Q total is equal to C sa 10 UF times E sa 10 UF. UF. So, Q total is uh, 461.5 micro all uh, is equals to uh, capacitors lang ano, so 10 micro farad. So, ito ay capacitor sa um, 10 micro farad times A uh, voltage across uh, Voltage across uh, 10 microfarad. So therefore, E over the uh, E sub 10 uh, is equals to uh, 461.5 divided by uh, my microcolumn divided by 10 microfarad. So therefore, uh, is equals to 46.15 volts.